Question number six, Alfred Nardo. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. To the Associate Minister of Education, what recent announcements has the government made about investment in education infrastructure? Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Nikki Kay. Over the last month, Minister Parata and I have announced over $72 million in projects to build new schools, Kura, and classrooms. This spending is part of the huge $882 million investment in education infrastructure secured as, budget, as part of Budget 2016. This budget more than doubled the education infrastructure spend of last year's budget. I'm pleased to advise the House that this government has committed around $5 billion to school property, significantly more than any other government. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Alfred Nardo. What investment in schooling infrastructure is underway in Auckland? Mr. The Speaker. Honourable Nikki Kay. Earlier this month, Minister Parata and I announced the government would invest over $40 million for the rebuild and upgrade of Tahurahi High School and Waiheke School, $23 million for 22 new flexible learning spaces, a new library and administration area at Tahurahi, $17 million for extensive rebuild works at Waiheke High School. Mr. Speaker, this comes on top of other recent investments that include $5.7 million for Northcote Primary School, $8.7 million for New Market School. 14.5 million for Clayton Park School and today 3.7 million for Teata 2 Intermediate School. I can also confirm that since 2014, as a result of the Auckland Roll Growth Programme, school re redevelopments, new schools and the projects green lighted so far under Budget 2016, the Government will deliver more than 17,000 new student places across Auckland by 2019. Order. Order, point of order, the right honourable Winston Peters. Mr. Speaker, the answer should be a terse and to the point, succinct and brief, uh, and that's just a ramble. Order. And a pretty bad one at that. Order. Order. It, wa order. it was a point of order, but I remind the member that I'm the sole judge of uh, the length of answer. I've told him that on many occasions in this House. And of course, when he continues to interject through an answer, that will sometimes give the Minister more opportunity to respond. Supplement. Further supplementary question, Alfred Nardo. What investment is being made in education infrastructure in Northland? Oh. <laughs> Mr. Speaker. Order. The Honourable. <laughs> order. Point of order. 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 Point, Point of order. Will be heard Mr. Summer. Speaker, I seek leave for the Minister to have an extension of time. I can't wait to hear this. <laughs> Again, that's not a point of order. You cannot seek leave on behalf of another member. I told your colleague that on Thursday. Would the Honourable Nikki Kaye please answer the Mr. question? Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, last week Minister Parata and I announced that $6.9 million will be invested to redevelop Te Kura Kaupapa Māori o Tomorere in Northland. This redevelopment will see the conversion of existing buildings to create new facilities for student, senior students, a new gymnasium, the construction of four brand new learning spaces. Mr Speaker, I'm pleased to advise the House that over $50 million has been committed to upgrade schools and add capacity in Northland between 2008 and 2015. This, this includes $19 million to provide a new site and buildings for Takura Kopapa Māori o Titonga o Hakianga, 16 new classrooms at Whangarei Girls High School, Parua Bay School and Bay of Islands International Academy, $14 million for the redevelopment of Northland College and $6 million to increase capacity at Hora Hora School. Supplementary question. Tracy Martin. Can the Minister confirm that the investment in Northland schools has been made since the Northland by-election? <laughs> <laughs> Mr the Speaker. Honourable Nikki Kay. Mr Speaker, what I can confirm is we started making investments well before the Northland by-election and that since 2008 we have spent $50 million in Northland. Order. Order. Order, Mr. Bennett. The supplementary supplementary question. The Minister, Honourable Winston Peters. Minister, uh, could I uh, ask why did it take so long for all those outstanding projects to at last get some action? Or is the answer obvious? Order. The, quest the question's been Mr. asked. Speaker. We'll now listen to the answer. The Honourable Nicky Kay. Mr. Speaker. The reason that we've had to spend five billion is because the last government left us rotting cold schools. Oh. 
Question number seven.